so this is this is the code for the the black shawls we're going to do it uh, the object uh, oriented way meaning that we are going to to build uh, this class this class will have uh, uh, all kind of functions and the end result is going to be uh, we will have a black shawls object once we will enter the the spot price the strike price uh the volatility days to maturity and uh, and so on and so forth we will get we we can uh, get the price we can get uh, the gamma and delta and all the other greeks so let's see how how we can build it so first of all uh I have the uh, the class which I called uh, BS for black shells. You can call it whatever you want. And this class, uh, we want we want to to get the, the the data that we need. Let's see what we need. If I'll open the calculator again, I'll put it here. And let's see, we need. Uh, the spot price so this will be the spot we need the strike the rate so here is this the strike the strike the rate uh, days to maturity the volatility uh, and the multiplier I set it automatically to 100 of course you don't have to uh, so the object that we are building uh, the the object will get the spot price will be the actual spot price that we are entering the strike will be the strike that we are entering and so on but when we are entering days i want automatically to translate it to uh because we are because the volatility uh, at, uh, in the black shoals uh, model the volatility is the annual volatility the rate the free risk free rate is the annual risk free rate and so on uh, i want to translate the I, I want to get the number of i want to enter the days and uh, and not uh, years so i need to uh, divide by 365 and this way when i entering uh, 30 as days it will be automatically translated to uh the this the 30 days in uh, in years and we will also enter the volatility and the multiplier uh, now the the next step will be to to build uh, the d1 and the d2 terms And just as a quick reminder, just as a quick reminder, you can see on my website, if I put my website here, you can see that uh, this is the, the call uh, formula, the Black Scholes uh, call formula and the put formula. So basically what we want, we need uh, is the D1 term and the D2 term. Uh, and this this is the, the d1 term this is the d2 term and this is what we are going to to put right now so if if i'll make it like this we can see let's see if i can squeeze it okay so we can see the the d1 term is the the natural uh, log the line of uh, s over k so you can see it here this is the uh, the natural uh, log of the spot price over the strike we need to add so we are adding uh, uh, the rate plus one half of the of the sigma square the volatility so we have we adding uh, the rate plus one half of the sigma square and times the the time which is uh, the days to maturity 
and we need to divide all by sigma times the square root of the time so we are dividing it by the volatility times the square root of the time which are the days to maturity and uh, now for the, the d2 is uh, much easier because uh, d2 is the the D2 part is uh, much easier because uh, the relation between uh, D2 and D1 is that D2 is D1 minus sigma times the square root of time. So D2 is D1 minus the volatility times the square root of the days, the time, days to maturity. So this is our definition. This is how we defined uh, D1 and D2. Now this next next line is uh, actually for the the gamma calculations. So let's just ignore uh, this line for now, and I will explain it when we will get to the uh, to the delta uh, to, uh, sorry to the gamma uh, constructing. Uh, 